The Smart PBX app combines the most common PBX functionality with a beautiful and intuitive user interface. All services are controlled via APIs, allowing you to extend the app functionality as needed. We made Smart PBX easy to use because it is where you will spend most of your time, as 75% or more of what needs to be done can be completed in this app. Within Smart PBX, you can create, manage, and remove services for your users. You can quickly create new users and specify what access you want to provide. Features such as individual fax to email boxes, call forwarding, and hot desking are easy to understand and implement. Because Smart PBX can do so many things, there will be multiple videos in the Smart PBX series. When you open Smart PBX, you will see the dashboard. The Smart PBX dashboard provides a comprehensive overview of your entire product offering. The first time you access Smart PBX, your dashboard will look bare, but as you set up each category listed on the left-hand side of your screen, your dashboard will, con will look dramatically different. Please note that I did pre-populate a few DIDs in this account, as well as the main number. Let's take a look at what your dashboard will look like once you've added users and devices. As you can see here, you'll see an overview of total users, devices and associated phone types, and conference bridges, as well as the designated main number, conference number, and fax box number for the account. You can also view the total amount of spare numbers and assigned numbers. Going back to my account, Let's quickly run through each tab on the left-hand side of the screen. Like I mentioned earlier, these will be discussed in separate videos. And, as you'll see, almost everything in Smart PBX is pretty self-explanatory. Let's start with Numbers. Numbers is where you will see a list of numbers in use and spare numbers. You can also buy, port, sync, and delete numbers, as well as set the caller ID E911, prepend, or carrier module for each number individually. Users is where you will create and manage users. Groups is where you will create groups and add members to your groups, set group extensions, phone numbers, and features. Main number is where you will assign your main number, conference number, and fax box number, as well as your office hours strategy, office holidays, and incoming call handling. Call logs show real-time logs of calls made from the account. Devices is where you can auto-provision, manually provision, and manage your devices. Voice mailboxes is where you can set up and manage voice mailboxes within the account, as well as configure voicemail alerts and custom voicemail greetings. Last but not least, Feature Codes provides a list of available codes that can be used to perform certain actions from a user's PBX. That's it for our overview of Smart PBX and the Smart PBX dashboard. Check out our other videos to learn more about each category within the Smart PBX app.